Hello ladies and gents, Rook here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to cover the new Final Cut Pro 10.2.2 update that was just released the past week. Um, I'm going to show you guys in this video what the update covers and also how to update the Final Cut Pro to the newest version. So let's go ahead and open up your app store. If you can't find your app store on your dock, you can go ahead and go to your top right hand corner of your screen and search for app store and it should pop up you know and double click on it and it'll launch it mine's already open so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and here's final cut pro but as soon as you open up app store go to the right hand most tab which is called updates and you'll be able to find the update there go ahead and hit update and it will run it might have you sign in but it will update and it should go through and with no issue but if it does you're having an issue go ahead and run a restart on your computer and uh <laughs> try the update again but here we are I'm gonna scroll down here and I already have it open already updated but uh, within the update you'll be able to notice that it has a native support for Sony basically giving you <laughs> additional support for additional cameras that are out and the newer versions or people have been struggling with importing media from into Final Cut Pro also the export interlaced H.264 video um, asset management systems can include a library backup file with sharing from Final Cut Pro. It also includes uh, fixes render errors that may occur when using reflective materials within 3D text. Improves stability when swapping materials in 3D text with published parameters. And uh, improves performance when loading textiles, motion title, templates with published text layout parameters. Param parameters <laughs> now export correctly it fixes an issue that may cause 3d text to appear dark when rendered addresses issues with timing on certain animated effects now those are the those are the old ones that are they covered when then 10.2.2 update uh, this isn't much not it wasn't even a big update at all because the last update was 10.2.1 and they were solving an issue that just caused a crash that was uh, it was just really annoying uh, a crash, up, crash upon launch, but there's no actual just change to the actual layout of Final Cut Pro. But overall, it's gonna be it's gonna should be running smoother. And if you're still having issues or if having issues updating, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be the